Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time visiting the channel, we're excited to have you. I'm Justin with Excel Smith. If you've been here before, we're excited to have you back. Today, we're talking about stripes, from zebras to candy canes to financial reports. Alternating row colors can make your reports easier to read. In this video, we take a look at two ways to add some striped flair to your spreadsheets. Let's get started. The Excel file contains a pretty typical looking report. Our goal is to make this report a little easier on the eyes by alternating the row colors. The first method we'll look at is definitely the quicker of the two. That's converting your report into a table. First, select the report, including the header row. Next, select Insert from the ribbon. Lastly, select Table. Instead of selecting the Table option from the Insert ribbon, we could have used the keyboard shortcut Ctrl and T on a PC or Command and T on a Mac. The report does contain headers, so we'll leave the checkbox selected and press OK. Excel automatically applies alternating row colors as part of a table. To change the colors of the rows, make sure you're in the Table ribbon menu, then click the down arrow for the style selection. From this menu, we can see our current selection, as well as other pre-built options. For example, let's select this green one instead of the blue. If you're feeling adventurous, you can create your own styles by pressing New Table Style. That's it for adding alternating row colors as part of a table. Before moving on to the second option, let me show you a quicker way to create a table. Instead of selecting the range, we can simply select a single cell within our data and then press that keyboard shortcut of Ctrl and T on a PC or Command and T on a Mac. When selecting a single cell to create a table, something almost magical happens. Excel picks the range by examining all of the rows above and below your selection and all of the columns to the left and to the right. It then stops when it hits either the boundary of the spreadsheet or a completely empty column and row. This leads to the range A1 through F32. Simply press OK from the pop-up and, like before, we have our striped table. If the video is helpful, let us know by subscribing to the channel and pressing that like button. It's greatly appreciated and helps the channel grow. Using tables is the quickest, but it doesn't provide much flexibility as to which rows are highlighted. For more control, we can use conditional formatting. For this option, we do have to manually select the range to which we want to apply the formatting. That's the range A2 through F32. For this example, we'll ignore the header row. With the range selected, press Home in the ribbon, followed by Conditional Formatting. Next, select New Rule. From the Style dropdown, select Classic. In the next dropdown, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. We want to highlight all of the even rows in a different color and leave the odd rows with the default white fill. For this, we can build an equation using the mod and row functions. Start by typing an equal sign, the function name mod, and an open parentheses. Mod takes two parameters. It divides the first parameter by the second and returns the remainder. For example, if the first parameter was the number 5 and the second parameter was the number 2, mod would return 1 because 1 is the remainder after dividing 5 by 2. This means that any number with a remainder of 0 after dividing by 2 has to be even. The numbers we want divided by 2 are the row numbers in our selection. To get the row number, we can use the function row. If we don't pass any arguments to row, it will simply return the row number containing it. This is exactly what we want, so we can enter a closing parentheses. That takes care of the first parameter, so we can type a comma to go to the second parameter. As we discussed previously, we want to divide the row number by 2, so we enter the number 2. That's it for mod, type a closing parentheses. If the mod equation equals 0, we know the row number in the first parameter is even. Type an equal sign and then the number 0. This equation will return true for any rows where the results of the mod equation equal 0 and false for the other rows. Any row with a result of true will receive the formatting. We went with a green color in the first example, so let's select the green fill option from the Format With dropdown. After making the selection, press OK to see the results. Like with the table option, we have applied a different row color to every other row. This does beg the question, is this a white report with green stripes or a green report with white stripes? Really makes you think. Let's say we want to add a color other than white to the rows with an odd row number. No problem, with the range still selected, press Conditional Formatting from the Home ribbon, followed by New Rule. Again, we'll select Classic from the Style dropdown, and then use a formula to determine which cells to format from the next dropdown. We'll be using the same first portion of the previous equation, which was an equal sign, the function name Mod and an open parentheses, the function name Row with an open parentheses followed immediately by a closing parentheses, then a comma, the number 2, and a closing parentheses to complete the mod function. Next, type an equal sign to compare this equation to something. In the previous equation, we compared this equation to the number 0. This returned true for even rows and false for odd rows. 
Conditional formatting only applies the styling to rows whose equation result is true. This means we need to compare the equation to the number 1 since odd numbers always have a remainder of 1 when divided by 2. That's it for the equation. We went with green in the previous example, so we'll leave this one with the default red styling and then press OK. Well, that's festive. Feel free to use whatever color or colors match the look you're trying to achieve. So far, we haven't done much different from what we can do with tables. The power of conditional formatting is that we are using an equation to determine which rows get the formatting. The previous two examples showed how to highlight every even row or every odd row. Say we want to highlight every third row of data. No problem. To start with the data selected, press conditional formatting from the home ribbon. Before we add the formatting for every third row of data, let's first delete the rule for every odd row, which are the red rows. We do this by selecting Manage Rules and then pressing the minus sign with the rule highlighted that we want to delete. Next, we can modify the equation that's highlighting the even rows. With the rule selected, press Edit Rule. We want to highlight every third row of data. We can simply replace the 2 in the second parameter with the number 3. This means that any row number that is evenly divisible by 3 will receive the formatting. After making the update, press OK to apply the changes and then OK one more time. This is close, but it's not exactly what we wanted. We wanted every third row of data highlighted. That would be rows 4, 7, 10, etc. The equation is currently highlighting every row whose row number is evenly divisible by 3. To see what we need to change, let's add the mod equation in column G for each of the rows of our data. This isn't necessary for the solution to work, but it's a good way to see what we need to change. In cell G2, type an equal sign, the function name mod, followed by an open parentheses. Next, type row with an empty set of parentheses. Then, type a comma followed by the number 3. Lastly, type a closing parentheses and press enter. Drag down the equation to cover all of the rows. As a reminder, the equation in the conditional formatting rule is checking for results equal to 0. Again, we want every third row of data to be highlighted. These are the rows with an equation equal to 1. That's an easy fix. Start by selecting a cell within the data. Next, press conditional formatting followed by Manage Rules. With the rule selected, press Edit Rule. All we need to do is replace the 0 at the end of the equation with a 1. This will cause the equation to return true for any row that has a remainder of 1 when divided by 3. With the update in place, we can press OK and then OK again. We now have two rows with a white fill followed by a row with a green fill. This is exactly what we were going for. With our solution in place, we can delete the data in column G. This shows how an equation with conditional formatting can provide more flexibility than a table if that's what your report needs. For a quick bonus, what if instead of highlighting every other row, we wanted to highlight every other column? No problem. Select a cell in the report followed by conditional formatting and then manage rules. Next, press edit rule. The first step is to replace the row function with the column function. Like row, column with an empty set of parentheses returns the column number tied to the cell calling it. Next, since we want every other column, we need to replace the 3 with a 2. Lastly, I want to highlight the even columns, so we'll replace the 1 with a 0. We're done. Press OK and then OK one more time. How cool is that? Something similar is possible with a table, but like we saw with the rows examples, conditional formatting can provide more flexibility if that's what you need or want. In this video, we took a look at how conditional formatting can be used to highlight alternating rows or columns. Check out this video to see even more fun things you can do with conditional formatting. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.